Okay, uh, good morning, everybody. And boy, is this an exciting day. It wasn't a little while ago where we were announcing the first community days here in Lehigh County, where our public defender's office co collaborating with a lot of other groups put on a community outreach day. That day went so well that our public defender's office under Kim McCool immediately started planning the second day, which is going to take place on Saturday, October 30th, right here in the parking lot next to our government building. I wanna say so much about how much we appreciate the public defender's office and Kim McCool for her vision to get these things done. This day is not only a day where they're offering free legal advice, but they're also offering food. We're working on having career link here, different veterans associations, and also a number of places to help with drug and alcohol problems in Lehigh County. What we also are going to do and I'm gonna hold this up and we have several boxes of them over here. A year and a half ago, I started working with a problem about the opioid abuse in Lehigh County. And as you see, it has not gone away. We got together through the Chamber of Commerce with Dan Quay from the Lehigh Valley Hospital Network. And I explained to him about this program that I discovered. It is the program where the package is called Deterra. What you do here and what the Lehigh Valley Hospital Network has been so generous to help us with, we have ordered several thousand packs of these. And the Lehigh Valley Hospital Network is sponsoring this. When you get your opioid prescription when you're leaving the doctor's office. The hospital will be giving you one of these. We are also going to make these available at the community outreach day and to our local police forces. What it is, is you take those pills, open the packet up, drop them in here, put a little warm water 30 seconds later, that's all biodegradable, EPA approved. This we're hoping because of the consequences of unused painkillers out there and being taken by people that are causing deaths, problems, addictions, we need to stop this. So what we can do, first of all, with this program is get the pills off of the shelves. Get them away, disposed where they're not hurting our environment, our water, or any of the things that they could do environmental harm. Aaron today is here with us from the Lehigh Valley Hospital Network. And again, we wanna thank them for sponsoring this program. It's been almost over a year in getting the sponsor, getting the order, but they're finally here and we're ready and we're gonna be having them here at the Community Outreach Day. This Outreach Day is a great example in Lehigh County of people cooperating with each other. We have our drug and alcohol people, we have our public defender's office, and we have the Lehigh County administration, all working together to make sure this day will be a successful day. It's a day that we have been promising coming for a while. It's a day that has given Lehigh County national recognition for this kind of a program. Nowhere else have we found a county, a public defender's office that is giving their time voluntarily on a Saturday to help their community with a particular legal problem, but also with food insecurity 
job insecurity, drug and alcohol problems, and even veterans affairs. We're putting it all together and we're doing it because of the work of our public defender's office. At this time, I would like to introduce Kim McCool, our public defender. Thank you, um, Executive Armstrong, for those kind words and the kind introduction. Um, we did have a great event last time, which occurred in June. It was our first community outreach event, um, and it was very successful. And at that time, we decided that we were going to have a second community outreach day, and hopefully this will be something that we continue on with. Um, this time, we will be providing legal advice regarding expungements and Clean Slate Act um, petitions and information related to Clean Slate and expungements. Um, having something on your record, having a um, blemish on your record, even if it's a, a charge which was dismissed, it can inhibit your ability to get employment. And so we have decided now Last time we focused on driver's licensing issues, which also can be um, a problem with getting a, uh, employment and being able to keep a job because you can't get to your job. Now we're focusing on expungements and providing information um, to people who will come that day. We also, uh, as before, will have a bunch of community partners there. Um, organizations that will be attending will be providing information and outreach to the community. Um, some of those organizations are the Allentown Health Bureau who will be there and they will be offering vaccinations. Uh, we will have NAMI there, Treatment Trends, Reciprocity, Pinebrook Family Answer, Job Corps, Career Link, Catholic Charities, North Penn Legal Services, um, the Department of Human Services from Lehigh County will be there. And we will have the Department of Veterans Affairs Mobile Outreach will also be there. Some are returning from last time and some are new. So we're very excited that it is expanding and we will have more offerings for the community. Um, also, um, we can't do any of this without the generous donations um, of other businesses and organizations within the community. Um, Sodworks, Mushlitz Excavating, Allentown Food Bank. Um, we're working right now with Jandal Farms um, regarding donations of vouchers for turkeys and um, giant grocery stores. Our hope is that we can provide bags of food so that people can have a Thanksgiving meal. People in need can have a Thanksgiving meal. And that is why we are um, you know, excited about the opportunity to provide turkey vouchers. Um, and, and also I have to say, we can't do it without the support of the county executive and, the, um, and, and all, everybody from the county who supports our efforts. Um, we can't do any of that without all of that from our IT department to our general services, everybody who comes out and supports us. And I can't do any of it without our client advocates, Mike Pizzengrilli and Amy Rivera, who have just been working nonstop on this, as well as our staff of attorneys who volunteer their time, our um, support staff, our investigators, everybody volunteers their time to um, work at this event on a Saturday and they do it. And I said this before, and I, and I mean it, they, they genuinely do this joyfully. They are happy to give their Saturday for this event. So um, I am looking forward to it October 30th at nine o'clock. And um, I'm sure we're going to have just as good a turnout as we did last time. Thank you. So what is Lehigh County doing for you? Well, I think it's obvious every day Lehigh County is working to make this one of the best places for our citizens, trying to solve the problems as best as we can. Hopefully, this is going to help curtail the opioid crisis. We're working hard. We appreciate you people coming out here today. And again, what I really want to emphasize here today is the fact for a day like this to happen, you need to have people working together. And that's what we are doing here in Lehigh County. We are working together.
together. Thank you very much. Would you like to take some?